Welcome to our walkthrough of the Sea Ray SDX 270 outboard. So we're standing on the transom of this boat, which is really a great vessel. So it's got get up and go with a 350 horsepower, which is optional, has 250, 300 uh, options as well. And this has abundant storage for all the friends and family that you're gonna take on board. So starting at the transom today, I'm standing on top of uh, what is our transom sea deck. So a nice matting uh, that's comfortable on your feet for when you're getting in and out of the vessel. Um, obviously here we have our sun pad too with an articulating leg rest, uh, which makes it really great for, for lounging out on the back and watching whether it's your kids in the water or uh, just a nice sunset. We also have, as I said before, some abundant storage on this boat, and it starts right here at the transom. So when you open this compartment, there's plenty of room for your wakeboard, water skis, water toys, whatever it might be. Plenty of storage in this vessel. So sitting here on the transom, I just wanted to point out two features. First is the easily accessible storage again, uh, where you can put fenders or even load some drinks if you want uh, for when you're out here in the water and hanging out on the sun pad. In addition, there's a transom sprayer, so when you come out of the water, whether you're trying to wash off some salt or just that lake water, it's all there for you to feel a little bit cleaner as you come aboard the boat. As you come into the boat, you'll notice a couple of things in the cockpit. Um, the first one is actually at your feet, so we have several options of what you can have for your flooring. I'm standing on top of the infinity flooring right now, but we also have um, Snap-in Sea Deck, which is an industry first. In addition to that, we have carpet. Um, so you really have your choice of if you just wanna have bare fiberglass with non-skid um, or those three options for your flooring. In addition, once you come in, um, we have some great seating in this L-shaped lounge over here. Uh, and again, you can see the Sea Ray upholstery where we truly have um, some great detail in our stitching as well as in all of the vinyls. As you look further into the cockpit, there are some features that you should know about. So if you're at rest, very simply move the seat backs so that now you have an even larger cockpit um, where you can have people who are facing and lounging aft. Okay, speaking of storage, when you come into the cockpit, there are three things that I want to point out to you. First on the port side, you have this massive storage compartment. And in this compartment, you can fit things like beach bags, towels, gear, so your fenders, your line, etc. There's plenty of room in this boat for that. When you come along to the starboard side, there's also some storage for a cooler, as well as additional gear. And then in the center, which we won't open right now, but there's a, a massive ski compartment as well. So then as we back up a little bit and look up, uh, we have a couple features. So this is the optional sports tower, uh, which allows you to uh, do water sports off of the tow point up here. But in addition to that, you might see these lines hanging down. Just wanted to point that out, that that's part of uh, the canvas system. So hanging up with what we call a hang tight, you can hang the canvas so that it, you don't have to crawl in anymore uh, to put poles up to hold up your canvas. You can do it by clipping the canvas right up here. As we come to the dash, you'll notice several things. The first is the fusion head unit. So this is a standard on the boat and really great system. It's very intuitive to use and very sleek look. In addition, there's a premium upgrade that will give you a multi-zone system as well as a subwoofer and upgraded speakers and amplifiers. In addition, when you look at the helm, this is the standard boat with gauges. There are two options. One is for a nine inch display and one is for a 12 inch display. Both of those actually replace the gauges and come standard with a vessel view link from Mercury. That shows you all of your engine data and diagnostic data in addition to charts and sonar. On the port side of this boat, you'll find the head, which is really great with premium features, nice finishes, a pump out head, a sink, and a port light for ventilation and natural light. When you come into the bow, again, some really great features here. You can see the contrast stitching in the upholstery, and this is a nice forward facing lounge with an armrest. As you move a little bit further forward, you'll see a locker here. And in this locker is a boarding ladder. So if you're pulling up to a beach or out swimming in the, in the uh, water in front of the boat, you have easy access back into the boat, as well as storage for your anchor. So again, the bow, really great area um, for gathering, riding while underway, let the breeze in your hair. Uh, but this again, uh, two really big loungers facing forward. You can probably fit four or five people up here. 
as well as a transom sprayer for when, when you do come out of the uh, water, up the boarding ladder, or pulling up your anchor, you're able to wash things off. Um, again, you see the, the Fusion up here, Fusion speakers for your audio system, so you can listen to your tunes while underway. Thanks for joining us on this walkthrough of the SDX270 outboard from Sea Ray. Please visit SeaRay.com to configure your very own boat.